Hey guys, Gus Mitchell here. I want to talk to you about chunk honey. So we all know I like to sell comb honey. My least favorite way of selling comb honey is in chunk form. Uh, chunk honey is, for me, it's a two by four roughly or whatever um, end pieces that, I, that will make a nice, uh, decent jar of chunk honey. It's uh, the comb submerged in the liquid honey. <clears throat> The reason it's my least favorite is because this honey uh, granulates very, very quickly. Uh, this time of year, this late fall, uh, it's hard to keep the temperatures where they need to be in the honey house. Uh, if you've got stuff stacked up in the corner, you know it may be sitting 50 degrees up against the wall. And that's perfect, uh, perfect temperature for it to granulate and cream itself. <coughs> Excuse me. So uh, it's difficult, very difficult to liquefy or uh, decrystallize comb honey. What you end up with is um, a cake of wax on the top of the jar if you put it in the warming cabinet or, or something like that. So it's a real pain in the rear to deal with chunk honey for me. Um, another thing is, is a a lot of customers will ask for chunk honey. Um, a lot of people will want the chunk honey and you'll think you have a much larger demand for it than you'll have when it comes time to sell it. Um, and you'll end up with a bunch of it turning to sugar and just making a problem for you. Um, so how do I combat that? Uh, what's the workaround for that? For me, the workaround, is you make your cuts. Now you can see this was a little bit thinner comb. It's thicker on one side, got a little, little off. Um, not quite a two by four cut, but uh, pretty much. Uh, looks like it was an end cut. But this will make a handsome jar of chunk honey. You go ahead, you cut that, and you put the put it in here in your cases and stack them up. Um, so all these cases are chunk honey that has no liquid poured in on it yet. They're just the chunk honey in the jar. Um, they could, the comb could crystallize, but it's not as big a deal. It's not really gonna hurt the aesthetics of the jar. Um, this won't win a honey show but to me, it is a, a handsome jar of chunk honey that is attractive to my customer. You can see there, it's a good little, little hunk of honey. It's a two by four cut using a Pierce comb cutter, which I, I love the Pierce comb cutters. They're amazing tools, but uh, anyway, Another tip for you is if you have this and you have it crystallized, which this has not yet, uh, I have had to deal with some previously, but I've already liquefied and sold them. Um, I missed the opportunity there. <laughs> what you wanna do is, is in your warming cabinet, you wanna put this honey on its side. If you leave it upright and you decrystallize this, the, um, the gravity, the weight, I don't know if that's, what's causing it in the heat. The comb will rise to the top and it will squish up into a cake. Kind of just push itself against the lid and compact because it gets warm in the cabinet. Um, and that just ruins the product. It, it's really not sellable as comb honey after that. You might as well strain it out uh, and render the wax. But if you do it this way, on its side then and make sure your heat's low you don't really want it over 110 degrees in your warming cabinet so you're going to have it on its side and rotate it as needed and you can reliquify a jar of crystallized chunk honey this way now um, i learned that trick from my mentor robert hodum uh, he's I think 83 years old now, and he just sold out his honey packing business last year. Uh, long time beekeeper, still a beekeeper. 
Uh, it's probably running 30 some colonies right now, you know, you went out and fed yesterday. Um, but great tip on how to liquefy your chunk honey. Storing it, I think, like this is the best way to avoid having to do that because it's it's a delicate product so hopefully you guys will have some uh good things to take away from this video uh it's going to be a short one and short and sweet thanks